Okay, so looking at the accosse first, the first two lines, try and make the left hand a little bit shorter, okay? Um, we need to change the dynamics so that it's piano and it's also very light. So I'm going to play it quite um, a little bit more staccato than you may be used to. So it's got a very light feel to it. Keeping it nice and piano. I'm going to also add just a, a little bit of dynamic to um, to these two lines because they are identical. Um, the first one probably is um, between bar three and four and then the same on the next line. As you go up to the high F, just crescendo slightly and then make sure you diminuendo from the F to the E flat. So do that on both lines. There's a definite sort of feel of rise and a fall. Da 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 ba da 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 da. All right. So use that a little bit in your playing as well. Okay. And then um, practice the end of the second line to the beginning of the next line, the third line. Make sure you're really solid with your fingering choice. And also what notes you're aiming for. G, G, E flat, B flat. Okay. So it's a bit of a jump, but practice it until you're fluent and you're happy with it. Look at the keyboard if you need to. I think you probably do. You need to look where you're going there. So you do need to probably memorise that first bar. Then the rest of this line, concentrate a bit on the, uh, the right hand, looking at where the thumb is going. C, E flat, D, F, E flat, G, F, A flat, G, B flat. Okay, now the intervals, that's the distance between the notes, are not all the same. E, C to E flat misses one white key. All right, D to F also misses one white key. E flat to G misses two white notes. This is those two. So sometimes I think that's where you start to lose your thumb. So that's a bigger leap, that one. Then F to A flat and G to B flat are identical um, I, or, um, intervals, sorry. All right, so really look at that left hand, look at the keyboard a bit more, but do know the music. All right, don't just leave it to sort of a visual memory. You need to mentally know the music as well. And then piece that together with the left hand. Again, practice the end of that line to the last line. I don't know what finger you're using on that um, treble clef G, that right hand G. I went to my third finger, so I'm putting that in. I would say probably that would be the most obvious finger to me. So if, if in doubt, put the fingering in. I have done on the previous line as well, because I wasn't always being consistent with my fingering, and it's so important to be consistent. Okay. Notice this time the jump is not quite so bad. The left hand stays where it is. So make sure you've picked up on that and that's registered. That the E flat is the E flat octave you play on the next line. So it's only the right hand. Okay, and it's got to go from there, from the B flat to the G. So not quite such a big jump as from line two to line three, but even so, you still need to make sure you can do it fluently. Okay, now I know that the left hand is now doing some more chords, but follow this right hand thumb again. C, E flat, D, F, E flat, G, F, A flat, G, B flat, and then you finish. Okay, so it'll really help with memorising the music a little bit more to make sure that you're really registering the directions and the, the placements of each of those little thumb moves. Now the left hand, worth noting the first two bars of this sort of eliminating the first bar, 
26 and 27, you've got everything over black keys because your fifth and thumb are using black notes. So everything should be over that area. Then it draws back the next two bars. Don't use thumb or five on a black note. So you just draw back a little bit. Then it goes forward again. All right, so three bars before the end, you're back over the black key area again. And you stay there for the whole last three bars, really, don't you? So little things like that, you need to sort of just make sure that you've recognised it in the music. It will help you to follow where you're going. So over the black keys, keep over, then draw back a little bit. Over again, stay over. Okay, so work at it a little bit more like that. Um, and the aim, I think at the moment, is to try and get the piece one speed so you don't lose your beat um, on the last two lines of the music. 